Ever feel like navigating the immigration system is like walking a tightrope blindfolded? You're not alone. Millions around the globe dream of new beginnings, but visa applications can turn those dreams into bureaucratic nightmares. Did you know that the approval of your visa could hinge on something called a visa bulletin? It sounds like a boring government newsletter, right? Wrong. This little document holds the key to your immigration future. In this video, we'll demystify the world of visa bulletins and explain why they matter more than you think. Buckle up, because things are about to get real. We'll expose the common misconceptions, the hidden traps, and the crucial information you need to navigate this bureaucratic maze. By the end, you'll be armed with the knowledge to conquer the visa bulletin beast. All right, let's break down this mysterious visa bulletin. Imagine it as a monthly traffic signal for immigration. It's published by the United States Department of State and essentially dictates the pace of visa issuance. Think of it as a giant queue management system for green cards. Each month, this document tells us which visa categories are open, closed, or stuck somewhere in between. The US government sets limits on how many immigrant visas they issue each year. This monthly document uses a system of preference categories and cutoff dates to manage the flow of immigrants. These categories prioritize applicants based on factors like family ties, job skills, and country of origin. So, depending on where you fall in this system, your wait time for a visa can vary wildly. Let's talk about visa availability, the lifeblood of the immigration process. It's all well and good to be eligible for a visa, but if there are none available, you're stuck in limbo. Imagine this, you're a skilled worker with a job offer in the United States, but the dreaded visa bulletin shows limited visa availability in your category. This means you might have to wait months or even years before you can even think about packing your bags. Visa availability is like the holy grail of immigration. Without it, your dreams of living and working in the United States are on hold. The Visa Bulletin is your guide to navigating this complex world of visa availability. Now let's dig into the nitty-gritty of the Visa Bulletin preference categories. These categories are like different lanes on a highway, each with its own speed limit and traffic flow. Family-based visas, for example, are like the fast lane, allowing US citizens and permanent residents to sponsor their immediate relatives for green cards. Then, you have employment-based visas, the middle lane of immigration, granted to foreign workers with specific skills and qualifications. And finally, there's the slow lane, the diversity visa lottery, aiming to diversify the US immigrant population. Each preference category has its own set of rules and regulations, adding another layer of complexity to the immigration process. Understanding these categories is crucial for anyone hoping to navigate the United States visa system successfully. The wait times for these visas vary depending on the type of job and the applicant's country of origin. Understanding cutoff dates, the waiting game. Hold on tight because we're about to delve into the wild world of cutoff dates, the beating heart of the visa bulletin. Each month, the Visa Bulletin lists cutoff dates for each preference category and country. These dates tell you the earliest date an application with that specific preference category and country of chargeability can be processed. Cutoff dates can move forward, backward, or stay the same from month to month. If demand for visas is high, the cutoff dates might move forward slowly or even retrogress, meaning they move backward. Understanding cutoff dates is essential for managing expectations and planning your life. One of the biggest misconceptions about visa bulletins is that they offer a clear and predictable path to a green card. People assume it's like waiting in line for a roller coaster. You can see the progress, estimate the wait time, and know when it's your turn. But the reality is far messier. Visa bulletins are anything but predictable. The cutoff dates can swing back and forth like a pendulum, leaving applicants in a constant state of uncertainty. This unpredictability stems from the complex interplay of factors that influence visa availability, including global demand, economic conditions, and even US political climate. This lack of predictability can be incredibly stressful for applicants. Another common misconception is that when a visa bulletin lists your priority date as current, it means you're home free. 
you might be picturing yourself popping champagne and booking a one-way ticket to the US. However, the reality is often more nuanced. While a current priority date is a positive sign, it doesn't guarantee immediate visa issuance. There are often hidden hurdles and bureaucratic backlogs that can delay the process. Even with a current priority date, you still need to go through the final stages of visa processing, including submitting additional documents, getting medical examinations, and attending an interview. So, while seeing your priority date listed as current is a reason to celebrate, don't pack your bags just yet. Country caps, adding fuel to the fire. To make matters even more complicated, the US immigration system imposes per country caps on certain types of visas. This means that even if your priority date is current, you might face additional delays if you're from a country with high demand for US visas. Imagine a stadium with limited seating capacity. Even if you have a valid ticket, you won't get a seat if the stadium is already full of people from a particular country. These country caps are a source of much frustration as they often discriminate against applicants from populous nations like India, China and Mexico. Critics argue that these caps create unfair backlogs and hinder the U.S. quote. Its ability to attract and retain top talent from around the world. Understanding how country caps impact visa availability is crucial for managing expectations and navigating the complexities of the U.S. immigration process. Visa retrogression, the ultimate immigration nightmare. And now, for the moment you've all been dreading, visa retrogression. This terrifying term refers to the situation where cutoff dates in the visa bulletin move backward, pushing your American dream further out of reach. Imagine you're climbing a mountain, and just when you think you're about to reach the summit, the ground beneath you crumbles, and you slide back down. This phenomenon occurs when the demand for visas in a particular category or from a specific country exceeds the available supply. Visa retrogression can have a devastating impact on applicants, causing uncertainty, financial strain and emotional distress. It's a system that often leaves applicants feeling powerless, their fates hanging in the balance of bureaucratic decisions and ever-changing policies. The Visa Bulletin's Crystal Ball fact or fiction. Now, you might be tempted to treat the visa bulletin like a mystical crystal ball, desperately searching for clues about your immigration future. You might find yourself scouring online forums, consulting with psychics, don't do that, or even trying to decipher hidden messages in the cutoff dates. But here's the hard truth. The visa bulletin is not a fortune teller. While the visa bulletin provides valuable information about visa availability, it's not a guarantee. It's a snapshot in time reflecting the current state of visa demand and supply. However, the immigration landscape is constantly shifting, influenced by factors beyond anyone's control. So, while it's tempting to treat the visa bulletin as a crystal ball, it's essential to approach it with a healthy dose of realism. Predicting the unpredictable factors influencing visa bulletins. If you're feeling confused about the seemingly random fluctuations in the visa bulletin, you're not alone. The truth is, a complex web of factors influences visa availability, making it a moving target. One major factor is global demand for US visas. The US is a highly desirable destination for immigrants, and the number of applicants often far exceeds the number of visas available. This imbalance creates backlogs and competition, causing cutoff dates to move at a snail's pace or even retrogress. Understanding these influencing factors can help you make more informed decisions about your immigration journey. Decoding the jargon understanding visa bulletin terminology. Navigating the visa bulletin can feel like learning a foreign language. It's chock full of jargon and technical terms that can leave your head spinning, but fear not. We're here to decode the visa bulletin lingo and empower you to understand this crucial document. Let's start with priority date, a term that will become your new best friend or worst enemy throughout this process. Your priority date is like your immigration timestamp, the date your petition was filed. It determines your place in the visa queue and plays a crucial role in determining when your application might be processed.
strategies for success, navigating the visa bulletin maze. Now that you're fluent in visa bulletin lingo, let's talk strategy. Navigating this complex system requires patience, persistence, and a proactive approach. Stay informed. The visa bulletin is your roadmap. Check it monthly, track changes, and seek professional guidance. Consulting with an experienced attorney can provide invaluable insights. The immigration process is a marathon, not a sprint. Patience is key. Connect with others, build a support system, and stay focused on your goals. Beyond the Bulletin, a holistic view of immigration. Before we wrap up, let's take a step back and remember that the Visa Bulletin is just one piece of the immigration puzzle. While it's an essential tool for understanding visa availability, it doesn't tell the whole story. Immigration is about more than just paperwork and processing times. It's about dreams, aspirations, and the pursuit of a better life. It's about families reuniting, professionals contributing their talents, and individuals seeking new opportunities. Behind every application, there's a human story, a story of hope, resilience, and the courage to embrace new beginnings. So, while we've focused on the technicalities of the Visa Bulletin, let's not lose sight of the human element at the heart of this process. Understanding the Visa Bulletin is important, but it's equally important to approach immigration with empathy, compassion, and a recognition of the complexities and challenges faced by those seeking a new life in the United States. Section 1. The Human Cost of Bureaucracy Now, you might be thinking, OK, this Visa Bulletin thing sounds complicated, but is it really that big of a deal? Oh, mate, it absolutely is. Because behind all those dates and categories are real people with real lives being put on hold. We're talking about families separated by continents, skilled professionals stuck in career limbo, and dreams left hanging in the balance. When dreams are put on hold. The Visa Bulletin's impact ripples outwards, affecting families, communities, and industries. Skilled workers like doctors, engineers, and teachers are desperately needed. They've secured job offers and dreamt of contributing, but the Visa Bulletin has other plans. Their lives are in limbo and their contributions are put on hold. Hospitals face staffing shortages, tech companies struggle, and classrooms lack teachers. These delays hinder economic growth and innovation. Love is a powerful force, often defying logic, distance, and even international borders. But love alone is not enough to navigate US immigration. The Visa Bulletin can be a source of both hope and heartbreak. Imagine meeting the love of your life from a different country. You're ready to build a life together, but the Visa Bulletin stands in your way. The wait times for spousal visas can be agonizingly long. Years can turn into a lifetime navigating paperwork and interviews. The emotional toll is immeasurable. The uncertainty and separation strain even the strongest relationships. It's a testament to love that couples endure these hardships. The Visa Bulletin highlights the need for a more compassionate approach to immigration one that recognizes the right to be with loved ones, regardless of birthplace. Despite these heartbreaking realities, the story of the Visa Bulletin is not without its glimmers of hope. Behind the statistics and bureaucratic hurdles are countless stories of resilience, determination, and the unwavering human spirit. We hear stories of families who, after years of separation, are finally reunited, their joy palpable, their tears a testament to the enduring power of love and perseverance. We see skilled professionals, their dreams finally realized, contributing their talents to their chosen fields, enriching American society with their diverse perspectives and expertise. These stories remind us that the Visa Bulletin, for all its complexities and frustrations, is not the final word. Behind the document are human beings with dreams, aspirations, and the unwavering determination to build a better future for themselves and their families. These stories of resilience are a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome adversity. They remind us that the fight for a better future is worth fighting, that hope can bloom even in the most challenging of circumstances, and that the pursuit of dreams knows no borders. So there you have it. The Visa Bulletin is a force to be reckoned with, it dictates the pace of your dreams and the course of your life. Understanding it means arming yourself with knowledge. Remember, it's a tool, not your enemy. It can be confusing and frustrating, but with expert guidance, you can navigate its twists and turns. Immigration is a journey filled with hope and despair. 
the Visa Bulletin demands patience and resilience. Stay informed, proactive, and never give up on your dreams. With determination, you can navigate the Visa Bulletin maze and reach your destination. So there you have it, the Visa Bulletin demystified. We've tackled the jargon, exposed the myths, and hopefully armed you with the knowledge to navigate this bureaucratic beast. But we're not done yet. We want to hear from you. Have you faced your own Visa Bulletin dramas? Did your priority date move forward like a rocket or get stuck in retrogression quicksand? Share your experiences, your frustrations, your triumphs. Let's create a community of support and information for those navigating the wild world of US immigration. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't be stingy with that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel for more immigration insights, tips, and maybe even a laugh or two about the absurdities of bureaucracy. Because remember, knowledge is power. And in the world of immigration, that power can make all the difference. Stay informed, stay connected, and keep fighting for your American dream.